infected. Everyone I have cared for has died or left me. We stick together. I got this. After all we've been through, everything that I've done, it can't be for nothing. I'm just a girl, not a threat. What are you doing? I have to finish it. You can't stop this. I'm gonna find and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. What an emotional moment for me, guys. It has been a long time since I've kind of just been excited about The Last of Us. It's been just a topsy-turvy, drought-type section of this channel's history in my life in terms of waiting for Naughty Dog news slash The Last of Us. So, at long last, it does appear that The Last of Us Part 2 PS5 version Remaster, director's cut, whatever it is going to be, is going to be announced very, very soon. So let's do a catch up on some of the recent stuff and the new stuff that dropped. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Do you know about that near 40% of people that are subscribed by hitting that red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, have it set to all so you don't miss any of my videos discussing Naughty Dog or The Last of Us. We can go for 1,500 likes, I greatly would appreciate that, and let's just get straight into it. So in 2022, Tom Henderson, who was a credible insider in the gaming space, said, with The Last of Us 2 multiple and Last of Us Director's Cut, I've heard they are coming too, but I don't know exactly when. And again, because of probably certain things that happened in Naughty Dog this past year, we didn't see that Director's Cut slash PS5 version this year in 2023. But, it had already been spoken into existence years ago. Earlier this year, Gustavo Santolila, who is the game's composer for The Last of Us Part 1 and Last of Us Part 2, made a little slip up. He mentioned something about a new PS5 version on this interview with Blender. He said, and I quote, that there will be a new version of his character in Jackson City that will be more interactive, potentially letting players select which music from the game soundtrack he plays. But he said he couldn't reveal any more yet. And about a month ago, we got a job listing from someone that works at Naughty Dog. And they said the following in their description of their job. Response for overseeing the production of all outsourced environment art assets, weapons, and interactive procs from two iconic titles. The Last of Us Part 1 and The Last of Us 2 Remastered. And when this all broke, they ended up removing that description from their bio. So, more proof that it's likely coming. Now, today, we got this cryptic tweet at 2 in the morning. Alarm. PS5. Check mark. The Last of Us Part 2 from the account PlayStation Game Size. Now you're thinking, well, why, for one, does this mean this confirm anything, Dom? This is just a, a tweet with, you know, some account. Well, this account is actually pretty reputable. They're a credible source. And according to Insider Gaming, who reached out to them, they confirmed that the tweet refers to The Last of Us Part II as a native version being added to the PlayStation database. And Insider Gaming talked to their own sources and they independently verified the claim made by PlayStation Game Size. If this is true, which I do believe it to be, it means we are, an announcement is imminent. It is imminent, the database. It's gonna be any day now. I would have to say any week. It shouldn't be much longer. And what is coming in less than three weeks? The Game Awards show. I would keep your eyes very open to that. And if not, early next year, it seems like it is set in stone. And remember, with season two of the show basically beginning filming in January, it makes perfect sense that this is going to be releasing before season two of the show drops. The Last of Us 2 is one of the biggest selling PlayStation exclusives of all time in terms of the first couple weeks slash month. It was the third highest selling launch of a PlayStation title behind now we just recently released Spider-Man 2 at number one and God of War Ragnarok at number two. So clearly, considering now it was the only game that did not release on the PS5 of those three, it would make sense that a native PS5 version is coming. Yes, there has been a patch that added 60 FPS and a couple other changes, but as I've reiterated in numerous videos, The Last of Us 2 
It needs a PS5 version for a lot of reasons. You could say, oh yeah, they're doing it for money, they're doing it for the show. While those are valid reasons, yes, they are true. We need faster load times. We, I'd like to see custom skins. I'd like to see potentially DLC added. There was a lot of cut content with the game. Could we see something with Tommy? Maybe Abby? Maybe reintroduce the story? Maybe add in some of those cut things that were removed? Now you could say the game visually doesn't need any improvements. Why not even make it look better? Why not make the performance even better? Introduce new accessibility options as well. Introduce camos for weapons. Basically, they have the blueprint with The Last of Us Remake. Basically, take a lot of those improvements you had, and you're golden. But people are gonna ask me, what are my thoughts on this? Yes, it is another re-release, and, you know, I'm not the most happy about it. But at the end of the day, as long as I get new content, and I don't gotta be charged 70 bucks, it's a win in my eyes. Maybe a 10 or $20 upgrade fee. It all depends on what they do with it, and I think that's going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to take note of. I won't defend it if it's a $70 re-release, I will tell you that right out the center. I like new content, a lot of new content, DLC, so I'm keeping my expectations tempered, but the excitement is there. I played this game over 500 hours. I'm ready. I'm ready to jump back into it, permadeath, all that. My excitement is through the roof for this, even if it is a re-release, as long as I don't got to pay 70 bucks and I get new content, and I get what I like, it's a great step that Naughty Dog Silence is playing. I still want new games, I still want the multiplayer project, don't get me wrong, but hey, I'll take it over nothing in silence. Let's be honest. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Again, we'll go for 1,500 likes on this video, greatly would appreciate it. And let me know, are you excited for this? Stay tuned for my Game Awards stream in a couple weeks. It's going to be a fun one, definitely. Stay tuned. But I would predict this is going to probably be likely out in the spring or even earlier next year. So, let's go! Alright, y'all. Thank you so much again for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. What do you want to see? You know, price, all that. I'm just very excited, as you can tell. And, you know, stay tuned. December, come on, Game Awards show. Please, I'm praying, I'm praying. All right, thank you guys again, and we'll catch you all later. Peace and love, and have a great day. Bye bye. I guess there's just no